What up YouTube, it's Misery's Company. In this video, let's talk about the normal gym changes that just happened in Diablo Immortal. This was a pretty phenomenal change. A lot of people were scared that this would be a very bad change and would increase the gap between whales and free to play. I'm gonna be honest, it actually was not that bad. Um, nowhere near actually as bad as most people thought it was gonna be. In fact, it has helped sort of spark a, a match or a fire, if you will, in the market, especially on my server. So I am definitely getting a way more platinum than I was originally. And I wanna talk about how you, as either a free to play, pay to play, whale, whatever, can really min max your either character or your platinum or both with this new change. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Okay, so first things first, the first thing we need to do is understand the changes that were made to the normal gems. So what they did was normal gems now have a, uh, a thing called refinement. So what refinement does is it, uh, it boosts the base attribute of the piece of gear that it's in. So for example, this piece of gear, the base one is life. So it's not boosting anything else, just a life. So actually every single piece with the exception of the hands is a life piece. So you can see where it actually goes up incrementally or down incrementally rather um, based off the piece for life being in the highest ones, of course, being the waist as well as the feet. Now, the one that you're gonna wanna focus on and get the best gems for is gonna be your hands because that is actually increasing your damage. So this one is 976. As you can see, I'm getting a bonus of 39%. Now, how do I get 39%? It is 3% per level. So th three times five, three times four, three times four again, that's 39%. With to a max of for a single gym, if you get it to rank 10, which is gonna take a long time to do, not as long as it would have taken before this update, but it's going to take a long time and at max rank 10, it does give you 30% by itself. So what you're looking at is an additional 60%, I'm sorry, 30, 60, 90% increase to the uh, stock damage or the base damage on your gloves um, because this is a piece of gear that can roll up to three, so um, three sockets. So while this piece, for example, took away my four set, with this change, I am actually running this one because for two reasons. It actually had more score, which is gonna equal CR. Um, it had a, intelligence at a higher roll. So I did get, I think it was an additional like 20, 30 CR for that, um, combat rating if you don't know what CR is. But then also it did have three sockets. So while I lost out on the four piece bonus of my Vithus, which does hurt really bad, I would rather have this one piece that has damage bonus get um, the triple stat ability as well as a higher combat rating. So it is gonna make people have to have, make that hard decision is do I want the higher combat rating or do I want the higher or the more sockets? Can I get both? And, or your third option, so it's either combat rating, four set bonus, or the number of sockets you have on in terms of gems. So now you really have some tough decisions to make and obviously I made the one that increased two out of the three, which is the one you should generally do too. Um, I do benefit greatly, especially my single target build when it comes to my four set bonus. So I'm gonna miss out on some actual damage instead of just numeric damage. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident I'll be able to get my Vithu's four piece on a different piece and it'll be worth it. So that is an important piece to remember there. We have what, one, two, three, four, five pieces that boost life. So what does that mean? That means set bonuses such as like Mount Banks that gives you damage based off total life just got a massive buff. So keep that in mind if you were considering uh, a Mount Bank set over a different set, it really did just get a buff because it's giving you more life. So keep that in mind if you were kind of in between, it did just get a buff. The next thing I want to point out is that this was a very, very minor change. So let's say I had max rank 10 gems that would give me um, 30, 60, 90% additional refinement, which would give me a base increase um, to this of eight, seven, 878 damage. So just under an additional, it does double it but additional thousand damage now how is that in the grand scheme of things well my damage is at 11,507 so an additional thousand is less than 10 percent overall damage buff which knowing how long it's going to take to get all those gems to max level just really i, I only offer that as it, it really isn't that big of a difference if a whale goes and spends a ton of money to max these gems out you're talking less than a 10% buff to their damage. So keep that in mind, guys. Now, again, it might be that that math, that sort of napkin math might be a little different when you factor in a higher resonance. Um, but again, generally speaking, it's gonna be around 10% bonus to their damage. So it is a bonus, there's no doubt about it, but a whale is not gonna beat you because a 10% bonus from normal gyms, they're gonna beat you because the resonance. I mean, let's be honest, let's call, it, let's call it what it is. Overall, I think what this does increase because there's so many things that are giving you more life now, 
What it does, it's gonna help free to play players and we'll call them uh, guppies or dolphins stay alive longer in PVP because now we're getting more things that give us life. So instead of just getting one shot in PVP, now you have more options at getting life to help you stay alive longer in PVP. Now again, I'm not saying that's gonna help PVP dramatically from a free to play. And in fact, I know it won't but that is a very nice change to at least make it a little bit more tolerable is what I would say. All right, so when you find a new hidden layer, it looks like this. Let me go ahead and just clear out this area real quick because um, it is actually, a, it does tell you way more now once you get to it. So once you're here, you click on it and it'll actually pop up on the far left and say a hidden layer is available. So it actually brings you right close to it. So you click on hidden layer, we're gonna go ahead and find a party. Um, so it shows you that I actually have both of these available, both my bound and unbound gems available. I've already ran two, I will make note of that. So I have not maxed out my uh, max gem uh, uh, abilities or the ability of getting collecting more gems for today because otherwise this would be grayed out. Now it is important that you will be still getting one of these. So I would definitely recommend still running your hidden dungeons, your hidden layers rather, with a full party of four. All right, and here we are, we're going into the hidden layer. Um, and we're gonna sh just see how lucky we get. Now they did say in the patch notes, um, if nothing is guaranteed. So just because you complete one of these does not mean that you are guaranteed to get your uh, gems, but what you are guaranteed is that the first two give a higher percent chance. Um, so I have already ran my two and not maxed out either. So there is still gems available for me to collect, generally speaking. So um, I've heard people have to run as high as uh, seven to 10 in order to max out all their hidden gems, but again, uh, or your normal gems rather within the hidden layers. But again, this is a uh, very, very easy way um, to get some free platinum. In fact, I already have, I started at 70 platinum, just 70, and now I'm at 18,000 platinum just today from selling normal gems. Um, now given I did buy a ton of gems ahead of time, so these are also the spawn rate at which these pop up, these uh, these hidden layers are way more. In fact, they are they pop up like every few minutes. Like I when I was recording this video, I had one pop up. I was walking to it, somebody did it, and then another one popped up. So they are crazy fast. Do I get any normal gems? No, but I got a monster into essence, which I'll take. Hey, yeah. And then Frenzy Globe, love that for us. Now, did they just do something up here? They did. Oh no. So I hope, I did notice too, um, I wanna do some more testing to find out, but obviously this just came out today, that if you are not close to the group when they get one of these side quests, you do not get the chest, which I don't feel like it was always that way. So like, don't be the guy that pulls away from everyone. Um, like I said, I wanna do some testing myself to like validate that, but it was kind of annoying that this guy had ran ahead of all of us and I could not, I didn't get a single chest. I only got the chest from the actual, um, layer guardian which was mega annoying and I feel, like i said i don't remember that being a thing but i like i think i just had like my kids do something that i had to clean up or whatever so i had to like go afk and they continued obviously and i thought i could just catch up and but by the time i caught up it was too late and they had collected all of the chests and i didn't have any so all right there's the hidden layer or the hidden uh, guardian uh we don't have a single gym as of yet but again there is two levels to it and I don't know if you guys noticed, but there is a um, sort of like additional path. So I'm gonna go and check that out before we go to the next level. All right, um, no gym there. Let's see if there's anything in the chest for me. Oh, somebody spawned. Okay, so over there, this is what I'm talking about. So he spawned a, ch um, a quest. I'm gonna try to get there so I can get it. Success. All right, cool. Oh, I did get it. I got one gym. Was it bound or unbound? Oof, uh, I think it was this one, right? So it's un it was a bound gem. No worries, I will take what I can get. Now we're gonna go to the second level and see if we get any additional gems. Again, generally speaking, this is not um, hard by at all. In fact, it's really, really quick. And then, oh, I thought that was another gem. I got really excited. But the one thing I do wish they would have done in this update is add a higher cap to the platinum for gems. So they only sell for 400 still which kind of stinks, I'm not gonna lie. I really wanted them to sell for at least 500 would have been nice instead of just 400. I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right, so here we are, another opportunity of getting more gems. So go ahead and uh, boobity bobbity boop. Oh, we got taurine. And that was, I don't know. It used to light up. So I don't know what, what that one was. So it was bound or not. I don't know why that doesn't light up anymore in your bag. That's kind of odd. All right, moving on. Are people going backwards? 
Oh, someone died. Oh, well, I'm gonna go back to this area. Oh, cheat chest. Booyah. Anything good? Not worth it. But there's always a reason to go ahead and check. So obviously this was a, worth it. So I found another quest here. Gonna blow up these hellhounds, all six of them. And then you get an additional chest with the ability of getting a, another gem, which I did not get because the game hates me. But again, the first one, the first dungeon I ran, I actually got a ton of, um, of gems. Uh, so that's why I'm not super surprised because they did make that apparent in their patch notes that you're not guaranteed gems for any runs, but you have a higher probability of getting them your first two runs. I'm gonna die again, I can already tell. All right, so here we are at the uh, second layer guardian on the second floor, and then boom, they're dead. Let's see if we get anything good. I think so far I've gotten this, this will be my third gem, so I got three. Unfortunately, I can't check to see if they're bound or not, which is a little weird. Let's see if we get a fourth one, no. But again, we did get a bunch of gear and some gold, so I think mega worth it in my opinion. Ultimately, I think that this was a very good change for Diablo Immortal. A lot of people were worried about this being like the new resonance and making it just mega pay to win. And like I said, if you were to max out a handpiece, you're talking 10%, around 10% uh, more damage for from compared to a whale compared to a free to play. So it's it's really not that crazy. It's not even worth like hassling about. So to me, what I'm gonna do, and if you stayed this far in the video, you're gonna know my sort of theory. I'm going to sell any and all of the unbound gems that I get, and I will just use the additional bound gems that I get to upgrade my existing gems. Because ultimately, I think that resonance has a bigger impact on my character than these normal gems do. So I will be um, taking advantage of all this additional platinum and hopefully getting um, to 3K resonance to, again, get some of these base attributes increased. So that's my logic. I'm sticking to it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you haven't seen my video about the uh, new changes when it comes to fishing, make sure you check out this video right now. This video is all about, it is the ultimate guide for fishing and it will show you everything in between and how to get you a nice, big, thick golden rod. Click on that video right now.